we're all products of mission. Amen? Amen. And um, so thankful to the Lord because uh, uh, God sent uh, American missionaries to uh, start a work in our place in uh, Bukidnon. And uh, it was really a great blessing because uh, if you will visit our place uh, from uh, Kagen de Oro, uh, our place is Plateau. So, and every barangay, uh, there are Baptist churches there that was uh, established. So, uh, uh, during my time when I was still there, uh, I, I never heard uh, Dating Daan uh, were able to start a work in that place. Uh, I, don't, I don't know right now. Uh, and then if you will go farther, in the northern part, uh, we have big uh, Baptist churches there uh, that was established. Uh, by the grace of God, and uh, at the same time, uh, there are also uh, uh, Baptist hospitals at the same time, and Baptist schools that were established. So those are products of missions, amen, and praise uh, the Lord for that. So as we continue, and uh, Brother Gomer already uh, explained to us what is mission, so no need for me to explain about that. And uh, also Brother Jong already uh, uh, shared uh, about uh, missions uh, during our prayer meeting. Kaya konti na lang sasabihin ko <laughs> Sabi ko nalungkot ako Sabi ko ano lang sasabihin ko Anyway uh, It's still the word of God Amen, Amen. Shall we also please and uh, turn your Bibles In the book of Matthew chapter 28 Verse number 18 to 20 And also in the book of uh, Jude 22 And Revelation 20 verse 15. But let's start first on Revelations uh, 20 verse 15. Revelations 20:15. Are you there, Paul? Okay, shall we uh, read it together? Please begin. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Jude 22, please. Please begin. And of some have compassion, making a difference. And Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Please begin. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Let us pray. Our loving Lord, thank you once again for uh, uh, giving us, Lord, this uh, privilege to study once again your word. I pray that you will continue to help us and remind us always, Lord God, to love missions. And I pray, Lord, that you will continue to work in our means. Speak to us, Lord, God, this morning. Be the one to help me as well, Lord, as I will go on to deliver your message to your people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 You know, I'm always reminded with the, the road. Okay. Uh, looks like the same place because we have a... Uh, Our core but road <laughs> as well. All okay, right, so let us start. Oh, my topic uh, to be shared to you this morning is about why missions. Okay, why? And Brother Gomer uh, clearly stated to us and explained why. What is mission? So we have now ideas in regards to that. Now in verses twenty-eight, uh, chapter twenty-eight of Matthew, verses eighteen to twenty. I'm going to read it once again. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Point number one, why missions? Point number one, because of the great commission. Amen? Yeah. The Bible tells us here, here, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Now we have here the authority. In this verse here, the, the power means authority. Amen? The right to use power. 
That's why here, the, the, the entire gospel of the book of Matthew here, stresses we, we call, uh, what we call the authority, stresses the authority of Jesus Christ. Amen? There was the authority to his teaching in Matthew chapter 7 verse 29. Let us go there please. Matthew chapter 7 verse 29. So in Matthew chapter uh, 7 verse uh, chapter 7 verse 29 the Bible tells us for he taught them as one having what authority. Amen. So here the Bible tells us that Jesus spoke with what? Inherent authority. And where did it come from? That authority came from God. God's authority revealed the word. So authority to his teaching, not only that, he also exercised authority in healing. In Matthew chapter 8 verses 1 to 13. Now we, we can see uh, how God uh, healed those people who were sick. How God uh, healed those people who were... Uh, uh, um, really uh, uh, being tormented by the, by the evil spirits. So God healed them. And not only that, and even in forgiving sins. Amen? In Matthew chapter 9 verse 6. Let's go there please. In Matthew chapter 9 verse 6. But they, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Then said he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go unto thine house. Why missions? Why? Because of the great commission. This point number one. Amen? Because he had the, not only that, he had the authority over Satan. And not only that, he also delegated that authority to his disciples. We can read that in Matthew chapter 10. Let's go there please. In Matthew chapter 10, verse 1, chapter 10, verse 1, and when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Now, Jesus didn't only hear, uh, call the twelve disciples, he also gave them what? Power to do what he has what? called them to do. That's why the same uh, principle holds to today. Whom God calls, God equips. And that is really true. And not only that, at the close of this gospel, Matthew made it clear that Jesus has all the authority. Remember, that the great commission, that mandate, was given to the church. Now, we can also see here that since Jesus Christ okay, today has all the authority, we may what? Obey him without fear. Amen. There is no need to fear. I know that going to the mission field is not easy. You can ask Pastor Joel about that. You can ask some of those missionaries who started the work by the grace of God. It's really, really tough. It's not easy. But why is it that the, the work can be started? Why is it that the work can be established? It is all by the grace of God. Amen. No matter where He leads us, no matter what circumstances we face, remember that He is in control. He is in control for that. By His death and resurrection, Jesus, remember, defeated all his enemies and won for himself all authority. Remember that Christianity I, what I mean is that mission is the heartbeat of the church. Amen. It is the heartbeat of the church. Well, you know, every time there's a mission conference when I was still uh, studying at the uh, Bethany, I'm always excited to listen uh, to, to uh, the messengers uh, being prepared by those messengers who will stand behind the pulpit. 
I always have the joy knowing that I was also a product of missions. There's always a joy. Remember that the true nature of God demands this. Why? For God is love. Amen. God is love. And God is not willing that anybody or anyone should perish. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9 please. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. It was read a while ago. As some men count slack, slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Now remember here that truth is that God will what? Keep his promise. Do you believe in that? And without delay. And it is always according to his timing. Remember that our Lord's death on the cross was for the whole world. Amen. And remember, if we are the children of God and share his nature, then we will want to tell the world what? The good news to the lost. We are not going to be ashamed. It was read a while ago, Romans 1, 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Why? It is what? The power of God. It is the power of God. Remember as well, if we're going to read in the book of Acts, we see that the early church also operated on the basis of the Lord's sovereignty or sovereign authority. Amen. Remember that they also ministered in His name. They also depended on His power and also on His what? Guidance. They did not face the world. They did not face the lost world on the basis of their own authority, but only the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. You cannot win people to the Lord using your own authority, using your own might, using your, your own wisdom. No, you can't. Remember, because of great commission. Not only that, let's go back here in our uh, text. Here in verse, uh, verses 19 to 20, the Bible tells us, Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. That's why here the Greek uh, trans uh, verb translated go here. Go. Go ye therefore. It's not actually a command, but this is a what? Uh, present participle, which means going. The only command here in the entire Great Commission is what? To make disciples. Make disciples. It means to teach all nations. Amen? Jesus said here that while you are going, make all disciples to all nations. That's a very important thing for us to do. That's why no matter where we are, we should be witnesses for Jesus Christ. Amen? We should be witnesses for Jesus Christ and to seek what? And seek and to win others for Him. No matter what. Acts chapter 11 verse uh, 19 to 21, please. Let us go there. Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen traveled as far as Phoenix and of Cyprus and Antioch preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. This was such a blessing as well. Because of that persecution, they were able to what? To scatter into different places, to the different regions. And they have not the knowledge when it comes to the word of God, they were being taught. Now, that was the time now that they started to propagate the gospel in, new, in every place. In verse 20, the Bible tells us, And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which when they were come to Antio, spake unto the Grecians, preaching the Lord Jesus. Amen? They did not go there just to hide. 
because of the persecution. But what happened? When they arrived into that particular place, they shared the word of God. In verse 21, And the hand of the Lord was with them. Amen. And a great number believed, amen, and turned unto the Lord. Not only with the authority, but here, there's also what? An activity. Because of great commission. Amen. That's why here the term disciples here was the most popular name to the early believers here. Amen. Being a disciple here meant more than being a convert or a church member. It can also be here an apprentice might be an equivalent term here. The disciple is always attached, amen, himself to what? A teacher. Identified with him, learned from him, and lived with him. That's why, what happened to those uh, uh, converts okay, that was led by Apostle Paul to the, uh, to the throne of the Lord Jesus Christ? Like Luke, amen, Dr. Luke, Timothy, wherever Paul, uh, Paul uh, traveled, they were always with him, amen? He learned not by just simply, uh, not just by simply listening, but also what? but by also doing it. Amen. Remember that our Lord called the top disciples and taught them so that they might be able to teach others also. And that's it. It is something like, there's a teacher, the teacher will be the one to teach the disciples, the, the students, and those students, once they will learn and be equipped and uh, be uh, knowledgeable now when it comes to the word of God, then they will be the one to, the ones to share the word to others as well. That's why a disciple then, back then, is one who believed on Jesus Christ and expressed this faith by being what? baptized he remains in the fellowship of the believers that he might be taught the truths of faith I like this Acts chapter 2 verse number 41 to 47 let's go there please Acts chapter 2 41 to 47 then they that gladly received his word were baptized amen and then they and the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls and they continued steadfastly in, in the apostles' doctrine. They didn't stop there. Amen. Upon hearing that, then they continued. And fellowship and breaking of bread and in prayers. Verse 43, please. And fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Praising God. Amen. And having favor with all the people and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Wow. They were very effective effective back then and the same thing as what we can do today amen that's why during those days we're going to read the bible going to read the word of god they have that uh word they turned the world what upside down wow what a victory amen that's why he is then able to go out and win souls and teach them. That's why Jesus had opened also the minds of his disciples here to understand the scriptures. In Luke chapter 24, 44 to 45, but we're not going to read there anymore. Because they knew okay, that he wanted them what to teach to their own converts as well. That is very important. Now, please listen to this. 
It is not enough to win people to the Savior. It is what? We must also what? Teach them the Word of God. That's very important. This is also what? A part of that great commission. Amen? Back then, they... Uh, we have number, number games as well. But I found out it's not right. Hindi pala dapat. I can invite uh, every Sunday to church. Yes. But the problem I wasn't able to really focus in teaching them the Word of God. Yes, winning loss is very important. But the most important thing is that we must teach them the Word of God. Another thing, verse 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Not only the authority, the activity, but also an ability. Remember here that Jesus is not only in the midst when his disciples gathered together in Matthew ch- here in this verse, Matthew chapter 28 verse 20. But he is what? Present. He is also present with them as they scattered into the different parts of the world. Amen. So there are no conditions for us to meet or even to believe. Remember, because Jesus is with us through the Holy Spirit. That's why Paul discovered to be true when he was seeking to establish churches in difficult city of Corinth. Let's go there, please. Let's uh, read Acts 18.1. In Acts 18, 1, and after this thing, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth. Remember that Corinth during those days was uh, uh, a major city of the Roman Empire. Okay? Roman Empire, and then also an important uh, crossroad of uh, trade and commerce during those days as well for business, for travel. But also, it is the city of notorious for its uh, hedonism. Oh, what do you mean when you say hedonism, Brother Wilson? That is the theory that pleasure is the highest good and proper aim of human life during the time. And also, the city in Corinth is notorious when it comes to immorality. It was difficult for him to propagate the gospel, to spread the gospel in this place. But remember, nothing is impossible with God. Amen? It was such a blessing. But again, by the grace of God, He won people to Christ and baptized them. In Acts chapter 18, verse 8, let's go there, please. And Crispus, the chief ruler of the synagogue, believed on the Lord with all his house. And many of the Corinthians hearing believed and were baptized. Not only that, he also taught them the word. In verse 11, please. And he continued there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. That's why when the going was tough, Paul here had a special visit from the Lord. Guidance from the Lord. In verses 9 and 10. Let's go there please. Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by by a vision. What's that? Be not afraid. Amen. When everything is going tough, be not afraid. Our purpose, why we are in this place, okay, is to win 
people to Christ. But speak and hold not thy peace. Verse 10, please. For I am with thee. Amen. And no man shall set on thee to hurt thee. For I have much people in this city. This is a great comfort. Amen. Paul might say it was uncomfortable in coming in this place. People are, oh, what? There's something like different. But again, God said, be not upright. That's why the phrase here, the Bible tells us, even unto the end of the world. To the end of the age indicates that our Lord has a plan. Amen. And he is the Lord of history. As the churches follow his leading and obey his word, they fulfill his purposes in the world. Amen. It will all come soon. We must be faithful to him. Amen. Why missions? It is because of the great commission. Amen. Amen. Those missionaries will be sent by God in different places. Experience tough times in their lives. Amen. From inside and out. Let's pray for them. Amen. Let's pray for them. It is not really easy. Point number two. We're not going to stay long. Jude 22, please. And some have compassion, making a difference. Amen. Point number two, why missions? It's because of the great concern. That was our concern. Remember that these are the people who are wavering. Amen. That's why. If we are not going to uh, take care of a particular plant, if we are not going to cultivate it and do it with, a, with, with care, now those things that were planted will vanish or die. The same thing as these people who are wavering. This way they are what? Probably the unstable souls. Peter wrote about in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 14. Let us read 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 14. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls. Look at that. And heart they have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children. Remember, these are people, uh, these people are converted, but they are not grounded. In faith. That's why our responsibility is to what? Have, mer have mercy on them. Let's try to uh, uh, encourage these people. Let's try to uh, magnify the Lord always in their lives. And help them to be strong in their faith. Amen. That's our responsibility. To show compassion toward them. And seeking to lead them away from the influences of the apostates. Those people who abandoned from their faith. You know, if we are not careful, we will be swayed by those people who are teaching wrong doctrines. We will be swayed and will be taken away. From the presence of God if we are not careful. That's why its members should be rooted when it comes to the word of God. You have your Bible. You have the resources right now. What we need to do is to study the word of God diligently. We must be delighted in everything that we, we have that was given to us by the Lord. Always give importance to all of these things. Amen. This is, these are essentials. That's why this kind of ministry demands what? A great deal of love and patience. 
patience. That's why even you, it's every one of us, you must also help yourselves. You don't need to wait for the preacher, for the pastor to tell you or teach you on what to do. God gave you wisdom and use it as well. We must keep in mind that Im Im uh, immature believers are like little children who thought or who think they know right from wrong. Amen. Not only that, if you say no to them, they will only rebel and become more stubborn. That's why we must teach them with love, with care, with concern. To let them know the importance in dealing all of these things. That's why one of the best ways to draw them away from false teachers, is what I've said a while ago, is to magnify the Lord in their lives. To show to them what is really inside the Word of God. May nagsabi, no hate, spread love. <laughs> Although it's not biblical, but it has sense. Amen? Show to them what salvation really is. That's our concern. Other people might mock, keep on mocking us why we are still here in this place. But they don't know what, they're do, what we are doing. Going to villages is really tough. It's really challenging. But that's our concern. Our concern is that, is that these people might uh, open their eyes that they will understand by the guidance of the Holy Spirit the, uh, the importance of when it comes to salvation, it's really tough. But by the grace of God, when we were there last Sunday, we were able to conduct our Bible study. And they missed us. And they were able to listen to the Word of God. That's our concern. Amen. We don't want that these people will go to a we don't want that these people will uh, suffer later on. Frankly speaking, I'm always telling them our purpose. I'm always telling them if our purpose here is uh, uh, just for other things, that no, we are not going to come here anymore. If what we are teaching to you is not the right, then we are not going to come here anymore. What's the use? But again, because of great concern. Why we are doing these things. That's why it is important also for the men of God to show special love and concern to new Christians. That's also our concern. Amen? But again, we also have to minister to the mature believers at the same time in the church. Let somebody stray because of neglect. That's why people, that's why Apostle Paul here sent Timothy, the young believer, in Thessalonica so that he might establish them in their faith. That's why every young Christian needs a, what? A more mature believer to teach him how to stand and to walk. That's our concern. By the grace of God, we know that starting a work here in Cambodia is really tough. But we can see the development in, one of, uh, in some of the uh, ministries here in Cambodia. There were already converts, local converts, who surrendered their life their lives into the ministry and that's a great blessing amen 
That's why we will not stop. Amen? We will not stop in propag and propagating the word of God. Amen. Lastly, Revelation 20.15 And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So the book of life here contains the name of God's redeemed people. Philippians 4.3, please. Philippians chapter 4, verse 3. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women. This was sent to Kay and uh, Eudias. Help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Remember that no unsaved people or person will have his or her name in the Lamb's book of life. Only what? Was that the true believers are recorded there? Remember that. That's why when the judgment is done or finished, all the lost will be cast into what? Into hell. The lake of fire. The second death. Many people rejected that, that biblical doctrine of hell. Because they're saying that that is unchristian. And yet Jesus clearly taught is reality. Yeah. Amen. Let's read Matthew chapter 23 verse 15. We're almost done. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye can pass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the, the child of hell than yourselves. Mark 9 46. Where the worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. Remember that the Bible warns us about hell. There are over 162 references when it comes to hell. And Jesus Christ quoted it over 70 times. Why? Hell is real. Point number three, because of the great consequences. Why missions? Amen. Hell is a witness to the righteous character of God. Remember, he must judge sin. Hell is also a witness to man's responsibility. The fact that he is not a robot or a helpless victim, but a creature able to make choices. Human, people, a person can make his or her own choice. We're not robot. Remember that God does not send people to hell. Amen. People go to hell because of the rejection of the Savior. That's the answer. Matthew 25 verse 41. Let's go there please. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Remember, hell is also a witness to the awfulness of sin. So if we once saw sin as God sees it, we should... We would understand why a place such as hell exists. We have to understand that. In light, of, in light of Calvary, no lost sinner can condemn God for casting him into hell. Why? Because God has already provided a way of escape. Amen? 
patiently waiting for the sinners to repent. Remember that God will not lower His standards or, or alter His requirements. He has ordained that faith in His Son is the only way of salvation. Remember that. Again, I'm not going to expound this more because um, two more preachers will be preaching tonight. That's why before God can answer us, uh, remember here, remember before we end, you can escape from this terrible judgment by trusting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. By so doing, you will never be a part of the second uh, resurrection or experience the terrors of the second death, which is the lake of fire. Why missions? Because of the great commission, because of the great concern, and because of the great consequences. Hey, Badr Wilson, what's your plan? Yes? I've never changed my plan. Ever since. My plan is to be used by God. And if ever God will call me, someday, it's one of the provinces of here in Cambodia. Then praise the Lord for that. Amen. I'm really praying for that. Really praying for that. The work will not be easy. But everything can be done by the grace of God. So let's love missions. Let's pray. Our loving Father, thank you once again.